that is there. Oh yeah. That's what happened was we we got um, we we did a gig in Belgium when we first got together, and um, first time we played abroad, and this promoter uh, we didn't know but he was recording our 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 show and we didn't know that, and we managed to get hold of the tapes, and we we found them, and uh, it's a, it's on my record label, Nice Records, and it's. It's an early picture. It's an horrible, horrible it's Not really. When you listen, to, look at the sweet little kids that we were, and listen to the music. It's completely different. It's because it's before we went into the shallows and you know the early sort of Ishmael wow. Park stuff. That's pretty cool. Very cool. So you have your own label too. Yeah. So because I, 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 I heard about this stuff and I put it out on my label. And uh, the thing is, I wanted everyone to hear what we sh- what we sounded like before we became famous. Um, it's um, that's cool. That's really it's, cool. It's us playing live, which is great. Um, it's, you can see where Zeppelin get the influence from us. So, would they come? Know. Would they come and check oh, you guys out? You, you listen to. I'd say I'll get I'll get I'll get Casey to send you the the, the album. When you love listen it. to it, you'll love it. Welcome, everybody. I'm Stefan Adika. You're on Artist on Record, your ultimate intimate conversation with your favorite artists. And also, hit that bell and subscribe if it's your first time here to our channel. Your support and love means a lot to us and keeps this channel alive. So make sure when this episode ends, put your comments down below. Love to hear your feedback. Also, if you're part of our Patreon VIP All Access Backstage Pass, well, don't forget the first of the month, we do a vinyl game show where you could win vinyl prizes from us. But you got to be in it to win it. Now, tonight, who do we have in the hot seat? The legendary Mr. Kenny Jones. That's right. Kenny Jones of Faces, Small Faces, The Who. Well, guess, guess this little fact out. Did you know that Kenny Jones played on that song? A Rolling Stones song. I bet you didn't know this one. How did Kenny Jones end up playing drums on the Rolling Stones? It's only rock and roll. We're going to talk to Kenny, and we're going to find out the real story about this. Apparently, it was around December 1973, and the group was ready to record his drum part, so they were actually working on the song. And Charlie Watts was not around. So Kenny Jones ended up getting a phone call late at night from Ronnie Wood, his partner from his band Faces. Um, We're going to hear it. You know what? Enough of me telling you the story. Let Kenny tell you the story. It's a lot better, and his accent's a lot cuter. All right, everybody, put your hands together for the legendary Mr. Kenny Jones on your ultimate intimate conversation with your favorite artist. Don't touch that dial. Now, I just, I didn't realize, Kenny, that... And I always thought it was Charlie Watts. It's only rock and roll. Yeah. Rolling Stones classic song. And I just, and I'm a big Stones fan and I can't, it's funny. Here I am, 54 years old. You learn something every day. I'm like, <laughs> how stupid are you? How come you didn't know these facts? If it was a trivia question, I would have lost. I would, if it was a million dollars on the table and somebody goes, who's playing drums? I would have lost. How did that come apart? Uh, were you well, just jamming? Woody, see, we, we all live around the, the, the uh, park called Richmond Park. And it's in Kingston uh, <clears throat> and Richmond. We all linked together with this park in the middle. So Woody bought a new a house called The Wick. It sits right on the hill. And uh, first thing he did was, he bought it from John Mills, the actor, you know. Yeah. Oh, wow. And so, uh, and he tried, John Mills re- regretted selling it, so he called Woody up and said, can I... I would like to buy it back. I shouldn't have sold it. And Woody, Woody said, no, you can't have it. I like it. What Woody built a, a studio in the basement. So I gave him a drum kit. Put in the studio. Which is probably about the worst thing I ever did. So uh, I, get a, I, I, I get a call because I only, only live around the corner, really. Not very far. And as soon as I put one foot into bed, Ronnie would call up and say, Kenny, we haven't got a drummer. All right, Ronnie, I'll be right around. Go over there. Get over there. You go over there. One day, Eric Clapton will be there. Anyway, 
and sort of jamming away. And next next minute, Bob Dylan will be there. Go, but you never knew who was going to be there. And then this other time, um, he called up and said, Can we have a go, drama? All right, be right around, man. Came around. And it was Jagger was in there, just, you know, so we ended up just me and Jagger in it. Jagger was playing guitar and I was playing the drums, which I supplied for Ronnie. So I'm just playing away. So we're just playing this through. And Ronnie was in the control room. So he just bought a load of outboard equipment, new new stuff like a lexicon and things and put bits and pieces. So he's working all that. Oh. So so it, it left me and me and Mick just playing away. So we're just playing away. Just, uh, you know, just playing away. Just jamming away. And Mick said, Oh, so that's nice, he said, but play, play like that. I went, I said, no, it's, by this time it's like three in the morning. I said, no, I said, it's late anyway. So I said, I said, I'll play it like this. I said, anybody sounding like a roll? He said, but I like it. So we started working on this little tune because then it's only rock and roll, but I like it. I know it's only rock and roll, but I like it. And so Woody came in and said, he said, I'm going to put it down. Just you, you play it. You guys, you should play it and, and I'll put it down. So he recorded it and he came in afterwards and, and put, a, put a bass on it. And I thought nothing more about it when I went See you later, guys. See you later, and uh, next minute, I, I, I find out that the, they, the Stones went into the studio to try and, as, like a demo, that was just a demo, to try and do it again. And they couldn't capture the feel that we got. So I ended up, they ended up keeping me on, the, on, on my, my drums. And I, I, I found out afterwards it was a single, it ended up being one of the biggest singles. So I called Charlie up and I found out, I said, Charlie, I said, I never meant to play on your album. I said, I'll never do that to anyone. He said, it's all right, Kenny, don't worry about it. It sounds like me anyway. Charlie's so gracious. He's such a lovely guy. That was Kenny Jones. And if you want to see more of Kenny, click on the box right here. Until then, everybody, make sure you subscribe. Hit that bell to be reminded so you don't miss any other episodes. And remember, who loves you, baby? We do. Until then, we'll see you all later. Now get out of here, crazy kids. (laughs) 